So you want to start your YouTube adventure and you are looking for which camera you should buy to create these videos. That's what this video is about and I'm going to explain all different kinds of cameras and how what you have to think about when you are deciding on which camera you want to use. But before going in depth of this video, I want to say hi and welcome you to another of my videos. If you haven't been here, my name is Brecht and I create videos around social media marketing, video marketing and also YouTube. So please, if you want to have more information about how to become a YouTuber, how to create videos, then go ahead and check my channel after this video and underneath here, somewhere, I always forget which side it is, there is also a subscribe button. So subscribe to my channel if you want to be the first one to find out about the newest and latest of my videos. But let's go in depth and dive into today's subject. I want to talk about cameras with you and that's why I listed all different kinds of cameras that there are out there. Let's start off with the list. So we have smartphones, then we have compact cameras, we have action cameras, we have camcorders, and then you have mirrorless, mirrorless cameras, and DSLR cameras and that is a lot of different categories and that might also confuse you you don't know which camera you should use so let's go ahead and discuss all of the options so if you are a starter have you considered starting with your smartphone Smartphone nowadays if you have a proper smartphone like an iPhone or one of the the high uh, high quality uh, Android phones, then you probably already have a very good Smartphone camera to start your YouTube journey with when I started vlogging I actually used my smartphone at the start because you always have it in your pocket you don't need to invest anything because you already have one. If you don't have a very high quality smartphone yet, then you might also want to spend that extra money so you have a better phone uh, to have that better camera. So a smartphone is a great entry level camera for YouTube. Uh, most uh, smartphones, they have a very good camera. They can film in 4K, which is high quality uh, video. So it does everything that you want. Some cameras all also can film up to 120 frames per second if you want to go to slow motion videos. So I would really recommend, if you are not sure yet if YouTube and video is something for you, it's just to start out with your smartphone. And there are some ways to actually make your smartphone efforts even better like uh, an external microphone maybe a gimbal for your smartphone to create better video but obviously not all youtubers are using a smartphone and there are better cameras out there and one of the biggest disadvantages of a smartphone is that they have a small sensor which means that in low light conditions the camera, the smartphone lens might not be, or the smartphone sensor might not be appropriate. So if you are always in changing um, light situations, if you want to film a lot in low light, then your smartphone might not be the best option. So next up we have the point and shoot camera and I also want to include the camcorder in this category as well. Point and shoot cameras or compact cameras are actually cameras that are uh, created specifically for photography but you can film with them and then camcorders they are specifically uh, made for video and taking picture with them is a bit harder. Um, the big advantage of point and shoot cameras is that they are quite compact 
uh, they have a bit of a better lens sometimes on a smartphone not in all cases but in some cases they have a better lens uh, you can also upgrade uh, you can also buy in the compact uh, section you also have system cameras where you can adjust the lens uh, of it so these cameras they are high quality for pictures they are compact they are easy to carry around so if you want to create a vlog or you always want to shoot on uh, when you're traveling then a point and shoot or compact camera or a system camera might be the best option for you and the same with a with a with a camcorder they're specifically made for video uh, they're bad they're not that good to create um, create photos with but they are quite compact in most cases um, and they are easy to carry around but the big disadvantage of compact cameras is that a lot of the compact cameras don't have an option to put an external microphone uh, if you don't have a system camera you are stuck to the lens that you have and they actually have the same disadvantage as a smartphone they are not that good in low light conditions there is just no way to upgrade your uh, your image quality because what you buy is what you get and some of these system cameras uh, some of these point and shoot cameras they are quite expensive for what you get from them and actually if you have a good smartphone you can use external uh, external audio and you can't do that with a point and shoot so really consider if being having a compact camera is uh, is one of your priorities then this might be a good camera this might be good cameras for you but if that is not the case then maybe consider another camera and for camcorders one of the big disadvantages there is that you don't have uh, the, the the luck to get another lens to it uh, most of the cameras they are not that wide so if you want to film vlog style it's too zoomed in on your face that is one of the big disadvantages of a camcorder they do perform most of them do perform well in low light conditions and they do have an external microphone outlet most of them and also for uh, headphones which not all DSLR cameras have um, but still you are stuck to the lens that you buy and if you want to create vlog style videos uh, and you need a wide lens I'm actually using a wide lens in my studio because I have a small studio so if I would film here with a camcorder I would have to sit all the way back to fit in the frame in the same way so you don't you are not very they are not very dynamic in the way that you can use them then on to a very specific type of camera which is the action camera if you want to create a lot of sportsy uh, videos if you want to create videos while you're running while you're doing active sports then yeah an action camera is the way to go because they have uh, they are waterproof these cameras are made for this and actually the newer uh, cameras uh, action cameras that are out there from um, from GoPro they actually also have quite good audio quality but if you are a vlogger and you are traveling and you might want to buy one of these just to have uh, to film yourself selfie style then the audio quality might be not not might not be enough or if you are in a studio in this situation you are not taking advantage of what an action camera is and then action cameras might not be the right camera for you so as you have heard in all of my explanations is always think about what you're going to use your camera for and then the last two categories I'm going to group together as well which are mirrorless cameras and DSLR cameras um, they are a bit the same just mirrorless cameras are a bit more into uh, trend right now uh, the the mirrorless cameras they work on a different way but they are made for the same reason uh, mirrorless cameras are a bit more modern and they are bits all, all brands are maybe stepping a bit away from the uh, the mirror mirror cameras um, 
but the advantages are the same. And the biggest advantage of a DSLR like this is that you can take off the lens and buy lenses for every situation that you want to film in or take pictures in. These cameras first were made to take pictures and then also can film and most of the most more modern uh, cameras like the Sony, especially Sony, they are very good in creating video. Um, they focus a lot on new features when it comes to filming. Uh, Canon lags a bit in the filming department, but I am a big fan of Canon. I have a Canon mirrorless camera in front of me as well. But these cameras, the big advantage of these is that you can switch lenses. You can, uh, all lenses have a different effect. If you want a blurry background, you can create this only with this kind of cameras. If you want to create cinematic uh, videos, if you want to have video and uh, images in your videos that tell a story and you want to have full control, then a mirrorless or diesel air camera is the only way to go. Because you can have that depth of field, you have cameras with different kinds of zooms, you have prime lenses with where you can create blurry backgrounds with. Uh, most of the cameras, they also have the option to have an external microphone on top of it. Um, we have a hot shoe mount where you can also put on a light like this that I'm using. You have a tripod, a tripod stand here. So these are the most complete uh, cameras. They have the most options to create videos. But if you don't need all of that and you just need simple video, then this might not be the way to go because it's also more complex to get the right image. So when you are buying a camera, think of it a bit the same as buying a car. If you buy a Ferrari, yes, you have a very good car. You have a very expensive car. You have, you have one of the best cars that is out there if you are looking for performance. But if you are a company that wants to deliver uh, across, if you have a transport uh, company, then a Ferrari is not the way to go because you can't fit anything into a Ferrari. They don't even have uh, a trunk to put anything in. So think about what you are going to use it for. If you want to have a camera that has all of the things, uh, all of the control, that you can set manually, then you need a DSLR or a mirrorless. If you need external microphone, then you need a DSLR. If you want to be able to film in all kinds of situation in terms of lighting, then a DSLR is more the way to go. But if you don't need all of that, maybe just try out with your smartphone first before investing in cameras. So that's it for this video. Really think about what you want to film, what kind of image you want to achieve, what kind of videos you want to make before deciding which camera you are going to buy. I hope I helped you a bit in your search for the ideal camera. And if, you, if I did help you, please like this video so can, I can help more people deciding which camera they need. And if you like this video, why, why don't you go to my channel and subscribe or maybe just wait or click here to see my next video. And then I will see you there. Bye.